good whatever time it is wherever you are today i am going to tell you a story i haven't done one of those in a while let's just jump right into it okay so i feel like i need to premise this story just a little bit we're in a dry county so you can't just like go down to the liquor store and buy alcohol the only place you can get it is at a restaurant that serves it and not even all the restaurants serve alcohol so there's this really seedy little bar but it's a pizza restaurant but it's like the only really dive bar in town and all the college kids go there. It's called Bear's Den. So my dad had these friends that were playing a gig there. He asked me if I wanted to go because that's, I mean, I was in college and I frequented it. Frequented it? Frequented. Frequent. Frequent. I went there a lot. And if y'all don't know, I am really, really close to my dad and I love hanging out with him. We hang out a lot. We're just really close. And he asked me if I wanted to go and we went and I w we were sitting in this like big booth. They have like some small booths and some tables. But there's like this big U-shaped booth. So it was just the two of us sitting at the thing and his friends were setting up, you know, sound check, all that. There was a booth like directly behind my dad and I was facing my dad across, sitting across from him. There was this like girl and guy sitting there and I didn't really think much of it. Well, I made like awkward eye contact with her and I don't know if y'all don't y'all do this with, when you're out but like when you make eye contact with someone you just kind of look away really quick because I wasn't trying to I was like really talking to my dad but like I kept she was like right behind him so I just kept kind of making eye contact with her on accident probably did this about five times or so and she's like was smiling at me I just assumed that she was just like oh this is kind of awkward too I didn't mean you know whatever so I was just talking to my dad waiting on the show to start she comes over to me and I was like what is she doing like is she mad that I was looking at her I didn't mean to I oh my gosh I've offended this girl somehow because that's just the way I think like, I automatically assume that somebody's mad at me <laughs> and she was like all kind of flirty and was looking at me and she was like um do you want to dance with me and there's like a jukebox and like some sound stuff so there were like there was music playing it wasn't the band yet and I was like uh like I didn't I instantly didn't know what to do I'm for equal rights I'm for all that stuff like live your life the way you want to live it I am for you I'm going to support you however you are I'm going to be there for you I'm that kind of person I support being able to live the way you want to live but I didn't know what to do in this situation. It was the first time this has ever happened to me and I instantly was just like caught off guard. Like I didn't expect it. I didn't know how to respond. I was with my dad. I didn't want to offend her or be rude. And I know that if I had like the courage to go up and ask someone that I thought was attractive or thought was cute out and they said no, I mean that would totally like dash me to pieces. So I said yes. and. I got up and I went and danced there and I thought you know we would just like dance next to each other and you know do stuff like that. She instantly like wraps her arms around my neck and I'm like oh my god, oh my god, what do I do? So I, 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 I did like the middle school like I grabbed her ribs and I was like and we just kind of danced and then I don't know I was afraid she was going to try to kiss me. So I was totally ready to dodge, but I, like I said, I just didn't want to hurt her feelings. I didn't want to be mean because I, I am for that stuff. I just am not that way myself. So the song ended and I wasn't quite sure if she wanted me to keep dancing with her or not. And so I just was like, thanks for the dance. It was nice meeting you. And I went back and sat with my dad. And it was super awkward because she kept looking at me the rest of the night and I was totally avoiding eye contact. And there's probably a thousand better ways to do it than the way I did it, but I am very big on hurting people's feelings. And so I just, I just danced with a girl and got hit on by a girl and let it happen. Everyone can learn, everyone grows, and I am is the situation that I learned from and I would probably handle differently and more smoothly now. If that girl went on and it made her feel better, it made her feel happy that she was able to go, you know, and have more self-esteem and more confidence, then I'm glad to have assisted with that. 
I would have hate for her to feel embarrassed in any way because there's no reason for that. I wouldn't have wanted her to feel that way. Anyways, that's my story about the time. I danced the girl because I was too shy to tell her I was straight. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you want to hear more stories like this, I've got a ton of them. I just have to remember them. I have to like dig in my brain. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below letting me know if anything like this has ever happened to you and how you handled it. If you want to check out our other videos, you can go to our channel. We have a ton of videos, uh, some super funny ones, some more story times. I'm really glad that you're supporting me, that you're here. Share my videos so more people can see it. I would love to entertain more people. I'll see you next time. Bye.